how it feels walking into a town after coming down a mountain out of the woods for four and a half days. It still exists, brighter than I remember. There goes a the truck. I remember all this distinctly because this is all today. So to the left of those two power lines is where I started, but I started up at the top of the hill. There's another truck. So I didn't climb up that hill yesterday at the top to the left of those power lines is where I stayed. And I remember going under those two power lines and I made my way over this mountain today. And if you can see under that overpass, um, I came down the mountain on a zigzag. Right in front of that overpass, there's a set of railroad tracks and that's where I came out. Short day, 10, 11, 12 miles, something like that from Peter Mountain Shelter. I assume that's Peter Mountain. Not really impressive as far as mountains goes. Kind of small. It was really easy to climb. Something's different. Everything's different. I'm going north at least for 21 and a half miles. No guitar. I'm slack packing. I probably have 15 pounds worth of stuff. Seven and a half of it is water. I hiked with Wheezy P in boots for the first time since New York. I'm in Duncannon and Wheezy P offered me to slack pack. She drove me however far, 21 and a half miles on the trail. I'm light, it's nice. I miss my guitar already, but I just have to trust the church and the universe. Gandalf is there. He's a really great guy. He played my guitar last night. He's better than me. He'll take good care of my guitar. After today, I'll only have, I guess, 60 miles. That might be four or five days for me. Um, but I might get stronger legs south of Duncan, and it's supposed to be better terrain. Today's been a lot of farmland. I'm also using my umbrella which is new. Who's that guy? I used to keep it over on this side. I couldn't even reach it with the guitar and it was locked up in my side strings. Now I have it over here. It's supposed to be 95 degrees. I'm exposed in the sun in these farmland fields. So I'm using the umbrella to give me shade. So I think I'm going to keep that. Otherwise it was going to end up in a, in a hiker box. Okay. So this is another first. Now if a coyote painted this on the side of a wall and I walk into it, I'm going to be mad but nope, I'm going through a tunnel under a bridge. So I've gone under bridges before, but nothing this fancy. And I made it out the other side. Hopefully I'm still in the same dimension. So much for leave no trace. I'm kind of disappointed. There's still rubber on three of these tires. I don't know why you couldn't drive it out of here. Waste of a perfectly good spoon. Salad for lunch? Out on the trail? Who's this? I haven't forgotten who I am. I'm cold soaking noodles to have as well. And I've got a protein bar over there for some protein. Some dark chocolate. But I'm just doing things differently. Slack packing, going about two and a quarter miles per hour with a 15 or less pound pack because I've drank most of my water, but I'm about to fill up my water bottles here again. It's still 90 degrees. It's actually supposed to rain. So I'm going to finish my lunch, maybe have some dark chocolate and uh, get some water and then get going. Looks nice. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mountain ranges all stacked in front of one another. And there's a nice view of the river I can barely see, but I am not going over there because as you can see the clouds and you might even be able to hear the wind, I'm gonna get wet, but I'm not wasting any more time at a view. I'm gonna walk into it or it's gonna roll into me, but no time for a view. There's a shelter in two miles. I was planning on stopping there and having a snack. Still might, the storm might push me in there anyway for a second. I haven't looked at the weather report because I can tell it by looking up and I can 
feel it. It's thundering. No sign of lightning yet. Um, it had said that it was, ooh, that might have been a sign of lightning. It had said it was going to start raining at 6, it's 3.30. I might have hiked into a different weather system. But at any rate, it's a lot cooler than it was. And I'm just going to deal with it. I have six miles, less than six miles, three hours. And there is a shelter between here and Duncannon. I'll go fast when I can. If it starts to rain, I'll go slow when the rock's downhill. I'm just going to be aware of lightning. When I get to that shelter, I might take a closer look at the weather to see if the area that I'm in changed the forecast. Clearly it did, because in Marysville, when I last looked, it was predicting rain at 6. And when I looked earlier in SAR, it was predicting rain today. In Clarksville, again, it was 6. Oh, there's more thunder. I heard a lot of rolling thunder earlier. Okay, so everybody's been talking about Hawk Rock, and I feel like this is it. So down there is Duncannon. Over yonder is the bridge that I traveled into Duncannon and then took a left over the other bridge and then into town. So next to the railroad tracks, that is that little stretch of downtown and there somewhere is the church. And this is just an amazing view. As I was coming in that way, I was looking out over all of this. It is quite the drop right over those rocks right there. I can barely even look at it. I have a little bit of a fear of heights, not a big fear of heights, but enough sense to know I don't like looking down that steep. But this is beautiful. The river wraps all the way around and it's a little dry, but you can see it runs right down there. 1.7 to get back into town and that's where I want to be. but this is very unofficial. This is a ridiculous idea. Would have been great when I was in my teenage years or in my twenties. I also ordered a cheeseburger that I'm, a bacon cheeseburger that I'm waiting on. So I'm gonna take a break and eat the cheeseburger so I'm not just eating ice cream. And I don't know if it's gonna be smart to finish this, even if it's possible. And the girl threw a curveball at me. This is 1.5 quarts, 1.42 meters. So I guess to complete the challenge, you have to eat a pint after this to make it a whole half gallon. Shame on you, Rushies, for changing the size of a half gallon. Although the one benefit to that, I suppose, is after you eat three quarters of what you're supposed to eat, you can change up the flavor on that last pint, I guess, if you were sick of peanut butter cup. You could switch to strawberry or raspberry to completely change the flavor. Howdy. But this is a popular stop. I know the furnace store.
that, that's been my plan all along. I've been trying to talk myself out of doing this for a long time. And even though I have little intention of getting the extra pint, we'll see how I do. I'm a sucker. I'll probably get the extra pint, even though I'm really trying to talk myself out of that. Because I'll be like doing three quarters of the trail and not finishing. Eating three quarters of ice cream and not finishing. I'll have to live with that the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm trying. They threw a curveball at me. I guess this is 1.5 one, one quarts. So I didn't get the extra pint yet. I told them I probably won't. I'll see how I do here. Okay, so now I'm going to eat the bacon cheeseburger because I need some real food and then I'll go back to this and, and a lot of people would probably say I'm cheating because this is going to melt and, and I, I like that. But I don't plan on finishing the whole challenge and getting that extra pint. We'll see if my lesser judgment gets the better of me. So that's a brief intermission for a bacon cheeseburger, which was a smart thing to do to start to fill my belly with real food to make me think two, three, four times about this. Back to the ice cream and it's melting. Mm. So I cheated. But even if I can put this away, that's only 75%. Number half gallon. And I'm still actively trying to talk myself out of getting the other pint. So I had a pint of ice cream last night. Half that of salt. And about 64 ounces of juice and chocolate milk. And my belly was quite full. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go home and have a little snack. Because I'm hungry. And I don't want to have to eat anything else. In my defense, if I did make a mistake and get the off pint, that would be frozen cold. They were going to try to give it to me when I ordered this. But I said, whoa, Nelly, I don't even think I'm going to do that. This looks like enough. But three quarters of a half gallon challenge. And it's just going to be me in this sad video to celebrate if I succeed anyway. There's no pageantry. There's no fanfare. Cut that he's not going to fall from the sky. Frozen, frozen head again. <clears throat> freeze hit with my Not quite a full brain freeze, but... Brain freeze symptoms. There's so much out of us. It's not a lot, but it seems like a lot. Mm -hmm. It's really tough because I know I'm full, but I don't feel bad. Like, I don't regret eating this much yet. And now, the stubborn side of me saying, just eat the one more pint and say you did the whole thing. Don't say you went three quarters away and quit because you were afraid of an upset stomach and a half gallon ice cream blowing a hole in your tailpipe. It's very sunny out, which helps melt the ice cream and makes it easier to eat the ice cream, but you can make it challenging to hike it with a belly full of ice cream. I'm overthinking it. I have two, maybe three more bites. I'm just going to get up, walk over there, throw this away, make a game time decision on how I feel walking over the trash barrel, which is 20 feet away. I might even put my pack on and see how my belly feels with my pack on. I think I can do it. I think I was dope for this challenge. I think I'm just half a lifetime too late trying it. I think if I tried this when I was 24, this video would have been a lot shorter and I wouldn't have had any questions whether I was going to get there. Last I'm just starting the day Sunday morning. So I'm um, south of Duncannon, but this, this is completely different. I'm almost out of Pennsylvania. I don't know if I'll leave today. I wasn't planning on doing big miles for me like I have been the last couple days, 17, 16 and a half, 21 and a half. The day before that, slack packing, of course, asterisk. 12 to get into Duncannon, 18 the day before that, 12 before that, 16 and a half the day before that. So I've been trying to make these days more 15, 16, 17, 18 on average. Here come some hikers. It's just, this is completely different. I'm almost out of Pennsylvania. Pine needles, the trees are different. I like it. So this is Quarry Gap Shelter. So I think this is by far the cleanest, best kept, well-maintained shelter I've seen. So right when I walked in, I thought it was private property. They just do a good job painting it. It's got the log cabin feel and everything's clean. There's two picnic tables, two of those little three-person shelters. There's decorations, little turtles, a garden gnome, a couple of tending platforms, plenty of places to eat, two picnic tables, privy, bear box. There's some food donations in there, a nice couple benches to sit on flowers for the bees it's a really nice place though springs right there 
not bad cold water it just springs up from the ground i was pretty impressed with this i didn't time my day correctly i'm not staying here it's way too early but if it were to rain right now i would seek shelter from the rain in this cute little uh quarry gap shelter so hats off to the people that maintain it Pretty mama come and dance with your daddy all night long. I want to hear some funky Dixieland. Come on, pretty mama, take me by the hand, by the hand, hand, by the hand. Pretty mama come and dance with your daddy all night long.